This is the right direction that we're going in. You know why it feels like the right direction? Because it feels like there's so much more in us, boys. There's so much more in us. And, and there's a team in there that could be unstoppable. And it's not defined by today. It's spurred on by today. It's not defined our season today. But I'm telling you, take massive confidence from where we can take this. This team could be untouchable, boys, with the right, with the right mindset. I'm going to make that happen up there. I'm on the right path. So when you're playing finals, it's obviously a very special day. Special day for me, special day for all the for all the rest of the staff. But it's extra special for the lads because they've worked all this all this time to get here. Obviously, their emotions are higher and they'll be nervous. But it's a, it's a nervous energy that I think you need in these big games. Um, and when you watch the boys play with the experience that they've got, then I think that puts them in good stead. For, for me to finish and finish at a cup final with players that I've seen come through the academy, and they, they do become your mates. It really doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't really sink in until the boys come in and they start getting changed, and then you think, okay, this is it. And as they, as they say, or Jack Berger used to say, let's go, let's go to war. Good job. 
think it's a 9, 10, 11 month process when you include pre-season, but just walking around, getting some food, seeing all the fans coming here, seeing the players, seeing the, the look of excitement on the director's rugby face all just adds to the occasion. This is the big one. Will we see the Saris that has got them to this point or will they revert to type? That is going to be fascinating. I get the feeling this time that they've evolved a little bit as a team, but it's back to being, we're doing it the Saracens way, we'll win as Saracens for Saracens. Everybody else can do one, it's about us again. Woo! Small things matter. Oh, aren't you working the door? It matters, boys. It matters in days like today. You wait for this moment, boys. Pray for us, man. Whatever your involvement is, let's make sure we truly really can have that. Let's make sure we truly can have that. It's our very first action for this one. We'll go for that. Let's go. It's time to 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 go. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen now. The stage couldn't be better set. Glorious sunshine. Twickenham Bay. Not a cloud in the sky. And here come the players. Shoulders standing firm for the time being until Farrell got the ball away beautifully, offloaded by Tompkins that close. Ben Earl within touching distance of the line, it's still on, Farrell. On. Absolutely immense in the semi final, astonishing performance. And he put Saracens ahead early on in the final. Earl goes one way as Pansal went the other, and this creates the opportunity for um, a chasing mail into the ball. Oh, it's loose. Oh, oh, that might be a good ball. Ball to steal anyway. And it is a penalty try. Oh, Mailing's yeah, called back. Yellow card. Big moment. Big, big moment after the delay for the interruption. Farrell, oh that's nicely done, and this is Maylins, and that's beautiful. A try befitting of a final. Once again, the ringleader, Owen Farrell. Once again, a Premiership try scorer. Max Maylins. ball never easy never easy to deal with but Gus Ward did well and that'll do at half time at Twickenham Saracens 20 sale 30 Seven-point cushion. Curry. Looking this way and that, and oh, finds Van der Merwe, and he makes the break. Oh, it was ambitious. 
And there were lots of white shirts there, but the ball's still loose. And Rob! Oh, and laid back. And still, Rod going, scoring! Well, we've got to match them, and we have for most. There's been lots of curveballs. Uh, we've lost some experience early, but emotionally, I think we're staying in it, and, and that's been our thing. Emotionally outlasting any team, and I think with our game plan, what we want to do, we've just got to keep going, keep working at it, getting back and, and giving options. Let's go, Superdome! Good. One bounce into the arms of Carpenter, charge down! Taylor, big frame to get beyond, and Taylor and Sale now in a right old mess. Ben Earl screaming for it away to the right, it goes to the left, lifted up by Ezekiel, just down! Elliot Taylor this time, oh, what was Sale doing? Get Thank you, Taylor, what a boy! It does it, it does it, Thank you, good option five. Van Sale, oh, that's nicely done, beautiful. Malins gets it away. Daly back to good to Van Sale. Off oh, one big stretch and he'll get there. Oh, he's been held up. Brilliant, brilliant. Sale defence. Oh, yes, well, that's a try. Yeah. It's compelling evidence that the ball touches the line, therefore. Yeah. On the field decision and award the try. Oh, well, also, I was wrong, you were wrong. For the second time in this final, a critical intervention from the TMO. TMO Tom says try. Jackson Ray is sacrificed and for the final time, for the final time as a Saracens player, what he has given this club. Look at Ford! Time's up. Luke Pierce knows that. Sale know that. Melbourne dream shattered. For Saracens, a year old itch scratched. This time, it is good Saracens tears. This time, it is Saracens.
want to pause for a moment. I okay, to um, say goodbye to people who aren't going to be with us next year. Okay, all of the people we said goodbye to at the neighbors to all the all the staff and all the players. Um, thank you for everything you've done for the club. I did want to single out just a, a few people. Okay, firstly, Rosie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, that says it all, like, years and years of <laughs> incredible service um, to the club. I know this day means a lot to you, I know you're emotional, but we all wish you a really long and happy retirement. Amen. Yeah. Uh, Max, so Max, even so you're not that old. You <laughs> You've been at the club for a long, long time, and it's been an unbelievable privilege for all of us to watch you grow from boy to man. You're a hell of a player, and you're a hell of a person, and we all wish you all the best in Bristol. And no, we don't. Never say no. Yeah. And then, finally, I guess, Jack Owen, Jack Owen Duck. <laughs> and it, it, it feels right to talk about them together, to be honest, because I think they both typify and epitomize the kind of people who want the club. People who always put the team first. Um, people who we're going to miss unbelievably, I think. So you two need to get into the middle here. Yeah. 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 Tiki Tonga, I'm so, so high, I'm so, so high.